In today's session, I will show you how we can deploy a static HTML site to Heroku. So you might have you might have already heard about Heroku. Uh, so Heroku is a platform as service hosting platform where you can deploy dynamic applications built in Rails, PHP, Node.js, Python, and Java. So as you know, uh, in force.com, you can only code in Apex language. So to make it flexible for other users who are not aware of Apex, so they can build their application in their own language. It may be PHP, Node.js, or Python, and they can deploy their application to Heroku. So Huroku will take care of uh, that application and so here in this case we want to deploy a, a simple HTML file on Huroku server but as I said Huroku supports only uh, certain sets of languages which includes Serial, PHP, Node.js and Python so for that uh, what we will do we will uh, wrap that HTML file into a PHP file and will deploy our application to Heroku server. So let's begin. So what is the prerequisite to deploy any application to Heroku? So first of all, you need to have Git installed on your system. Then you need to have a Heroku account. So Heroku is basically a free uh, you can create a free account on heroku site you can sign up for free and then you need to download the heroku tool built so heroku tool, tool belt is nothing but a command line interface where you can uh, write some command and in and through that you can interact with the heroku server so i have already git and heroku tool belt installed in my machine if you want to uh, know how we can install uh, there are multiple sites where step by steps uh, step by step instructions given to install git and to tool belt so let's get started so let me go ahead and log into my heroku account It will ask for my email ID. And password. I'm successfully logged into Heroku. So if I go to uh, my local machine, I have two to file okay so this is index.php so what I have done here is I have this simple PHP file where so this, this I'll be deploying this file onto Heroku server but in this file I have also uh, mentioned index.html so whenever I load this file it will redirect uh, me to index.html so that way I'll be able to deploy my simple HTML file on the Heroku server so my index uh, my HTML file is nothing but a very simple interface so some HTML tag head body and table nothing but all static okay this is my PHP file so you need to take care that you will not provide any space between uh, this angular bracket and this question mark PHP so the format should be remain intact if you if you change format it will not work okay so the next step is to run some git command so what we will do we will create a git we will initiate local git directory Okay, the next step is to 
add all those file stage all those files now commit to changes locally and in fourth step what I will do is I will create a simple Heroku app on which my site will be running okay so here I need to give uh, my app name if you uh, keep it blank Heroku will give you Heroku will assign uh, app name automatically so for demo purpose I will be naming it as my custom Heroku app 6688 you need to you need to keep in mind that you can you cannot use capital letter here okay it is creating Heroku app on Heroku server so as soon as this app is created on Heroku server the system is smart enough to associate my local git to the Heroku git repository so when whenever I create a Heroku app system will automatically create a git repository for that app so when I when I run this command Heroku app create it created a Heroku app on the remote server for me Heroku remote server as well as it associated that remote uh, git repository to my local repository so the next time when I fire this push command it will deploy my code local code to the Heroku git repository it got deployed it is deploying one minute done so the next thing is I can open my recently created app using this command so my app name is my custom app 6688 your app name should be unique across the Heroku platform if it is not unique you need to give a other name I'm not able to scroll down So when I run this command, it will open my Heroku app in a browser. Okay, it automatically opened a new window. So you can see this is how it deployed a simple HTML file on my Heroku server. So for simplicity, I just put very simple uh, text in my index.html file. But for your actual purpose, you can make it more complex. Okay. Thank you.